Two authorities from two different branches of state government have overwhelmed news reports lately regarding the eligibility of Donald Trump to be a potential candidate on voting ballots. We have from Colorado State Judicial Branch, its Supreme Court has ruled Donald Trump disqualified from presidential primary ballots based on an interpretation and reconciliation of the 14th Amendment with that of the violence that occurred at the U.S. Capitol January 6, 2021. We have also from the state of Maine and its executive branch, its Secretary of State, Shanna Bellows, has also determined Trump disqualified from ballots for similar reasons as Colorado. Both are absolutely wrong and are absolutely lying for the same reason. And you, you want some proof. So let's use technology. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google. We're going to go to the short search form. I'm going to type in United States Code. Hit enter. All right, now this first link is what we want, uscode.gov. Click it. Now what we get, we get a list of the laws. And so what we can do is we can actually click on this front matter, organic laws. And here we see the Declaration of Independence. Articles of Confederation, Ordinance of 1787, Constitution of the United States. The Constitution is what we want. All right, let me go ahead and enlarge this. Blow it up a little bit so we can all see it. And this should look familiar. We have the Constitution of the United States of America. And the first thing we see, oh, what do we have? It? The Preamble of the United States. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. All right, I couldn't pass that up without remembering the jingle. Let's get back to the serious stuff. All right, let's keep scrolling. All right, let's keep scrolling. We want to get past the founding articles and the... Um, list of signatories for these first founding articles and we want to find the Bill of Rights and the actual amendments. Alright, All right, list of signatories and we start with First Amendment, Second Amendment, Third Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Fifth Amendment. Let's find Article 14. Alright, Article 14, this is what we want. Section 3. No person shall be a senator or representative in Congress or elector of president and vice president or hold any office, civil or military, under the United States or under any state who, having previously taken an oath as a member of Congress or as an officer of the United States or as a member of any state legislature or as an executive or judicial officer of any state to support the Constitution of the United States shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof but congress may by a vote of two-thirds of each house remove such disability now this has been the big contention between uh, the states and donald trump being eligible for the ballots but what's more important is section five the congress shall have power to enforce by appropriate legislation the provisions of this article and there you have it. What this means is Section 5 of the 14th Amendment delivers control over the 14th Amendment to the Congress of the United States. Congress has not levied any punishment against Donald Trump for the 14th, and therefore any decision to the contrary is henceforth unlawful as it is inconsistent with the Constitution. Not even the Supreme Court can determine if Donald Trump engaged in or incited or aided an insurrection against it. That is a task reserved for Congress. All the Supreme Court can do is review whether the lower authorities followed the law in their decision making. 
the answer with reference to Colorado and Maine is an emphatic no. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you, and please leave a comment or critique in the comment section down below.